What's up guys, it's Tommy here and in this video I'll be showing you guys 5 hidden features on your iPhone 7 or any device running iOS 10. So I've used iOS pretty much my entire life and these are 5 features that I never really knew about so I decided to make this video and share them with you guys. What I did was I went through multiple websites that wrote articles about features that people may not know about and I picked these 5 that were more interesting and I thought most of you guys wouldn't know. Obviously some of you guys are going to know them but I feel like the majority won't. Okay guys so let's get right into it. The order is not in any specific way it's just random okay so number five is you can move the cursor around when typing let's say you're typing something a website instead of deleting the entire word or phrase you can hard press the keyboard and move the cursor wherever you want and then go ahead and make your correction delete where you need to and then proceed to typing whatever you need to do. So that was number five. By the way guys, I know it's very simple, but I feel it can be very useful and not very many people know about this one, or at least I didn't. Okay guys, so number four is backspace in calculator. So everyone, everyone knows you can uh, type whatever number you want and then press the clear button, but you could also backspace and delete one individually by swiping to the left or swiping to the right and it deletes it by one digit instead of clearing the entire thing. It's pretty simple, but that's number four. Okay guys, so on to number three. Very simple one as well. Let's say you're typing something. You're typing a sentence. You can double tap the space button and it will end the sentence and start the next sentence with the capital. So we'll do that now. So as you can see there, a period was added and then the uppercase lettering was also clicked on. So it's very simple. You can just type and then when you're ready to end the sentence, double tap space and then you can start the next sentence. I feel like this is very good for emails when you have to be very proper with periods and uh, uppercase lettering. So that's pretty much about it for number three. On to number two is you'll never lose your car again whenever you're out shopping. Maps actually tracks your car and pinpoints it down. So we'll go ahead and go into maps. So if you zoom in, you'll be able to see my parked car is right here on the driveway. So if you click on it, you'll be able to give directions to wherever your car is at. So this is extremely helpful whenever you just don't remember where you parked. It's a very easy way to find it right through your iPhone. Now to enable this, you would have to go into settings, go to maps. From maps, scroll down until you see this option right here, show park location, just toggle that on. You do need to have Bluetooth or CarPlay stereo in your car in order for this to work. So that's pretty much about it for number two. So let's get into number one. Okay guys, so the last hidden feature on iOS 10 is being able to turn on and off, send red receipts individually. So everyone knows you can go into settings and go into messages and turn this on and off and it'll be across all your contacts. You can actually control this a little bit more by going into messages and clicking on a certain name. The I on the right corner, click on that and you can turn on and off send red receipts individually by person to person. So if you want to turn off red receipts here and you go back into settings, you still see that it's still on for all your other contacts. So I thought that was pretty cool. I never knew you could do that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.